Hello and welcome. This is Brandon with Cypress Learning and on today's Salesforce tip of the day, we're going to show you how to save time sending list emails from Salesforce. Inside of Salesforce, like most CRMs, it's all about the lists. The sooner you realize that, the sooner you become a master of working your lists, the more efficient you're going to be with Salesforce and the more you're going to love it. So right now I'm looking at a list of all open leads. Now mind you, this is a demo org, so if you're hoping to siphon some free lead information, I would not recommend reaching out to any of these. And I've got all of my open leads here. Um, lead status, first name, company name. Now, the first thing that I may want to do is create a new list view and create a list view for all open leads not contacted. I'm going to hide this for myself. I don't, I'm not going to share this one with my team. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter this on lead status. And I want to select the lead statuses that I have not contacted. So when I apply this filter here, what's going to happen is Salesforce is only going to return my leads that I have not contacted yet. Um, again, demo environment, so I've only got three here. Hopefully, if you have an active sales environment, this list is a lot larger than you. When I take a look at these buttons up here is where I'm going to go next. I've got options inside of Salesforce. Now, depending on what your company is doing, you may want to add these to a campaign or quickly change the statuses on them. But what I'm going to do, um, and this is where it's located for me, layout might be different in your organization, is I'm going to go to send list email. Now, in my company, um, we have Einstein Activity Capture set up, so these emails are going to come from Gmail account. Notice I do have a sending limit of 5,000 of these that I can send out any day. But what I have the ability to do is add what are called merge fields. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to insert a merge field for the recipient first name. And I'm just going to write a quick message. Um, let's connect today, please. Um, rather than that being in the content, I'm going to copy and paste it up here. Um, and in my content or my subject, I'm going to say really simply, hi, first name, can you call or email me today? This is about your uh, training status with us. Um, and I will put in here, so again, I can merge uh, merge field, use some of my sender information in here, but because I could use my email signature, for example, um, but because this is coming from me, I'm the only sender, I'm just going to put my name, make it appear very personal, and I'm going to put the phone number in here to call me back at. Uh, um, so I can preview, I can review this so you can see for the three emails that it's going to go out to, we've got Jeff, hi Jeff, can you email me? Hi Mike, can you email me? Um, hi Phyllis, can you email me? I go here and hit send, I'm not going to do that now. Um, and then what Salesforce is going to do is just send out all these emails for me. Um, other creative things that I could have done here is I could have added a Calendly URL to schedule some time with me. And now what I can do is use the inline editing after I've reached out to all these folks, I can either switch them from uh, open not contacted to working contacted or do a bulk change here highlight all of these records here go to change status and update them to working contacted boom so now I've just saved myself a ton of time and data entry now notice this list automatically removed those leads from this list because we have that filter I have no more leads that are not contacted I've gone through and I've emailed all four or five of my leads that have not been contacted today and I can continue moving on with other tasks hopefully this is a helpful trick for you to save you tons of time to get more value out of Salesforce and go crush those quotas